Hey, what's up, YouTube? Chevy R. Ray here, back with a little update video. Um, so I got my electric fans. Got two of them here. Um, reason being, you guys know, I got a. Uh, I have an 04 Suburban, so uh, these fans right here are going to the Suburban. These came out of a 2006 Silverado Crew Cab with a 5.3 in it. These came out of a 2005 uh, Yukon 5.3 uh, four-wheel drive. So one's going to go in this truck, which is my 04 Suburban. I got to uh, order a harness from Nelson for a harness for it because I had them packed them up. The other fan's going to go in the OBS OBS crew cab truck I got, my Centurion. And, um, Got the AC in it working now. Um, trying to track down an alternator for this thing. I want a little more power to it. That one's 124 amp. I want to run at least a one, 145, 160 maybe. Yep, AC is in here blowing. I'm actually about to head out to the to the bank actually right now. But um, yeah. Just a quick update for you guys. So I said two fans. Um, the fans on the ground laying down flat. I gotta uh, cut some stuff off of these. I cut off um, like the side bracket. Well, it's already cut off, anyways. I cut off the, the, the top ears on the corners, and um, I think Flexalite sells a plate that you can mount over it to hold them in place. Um, or I might have to just. Um, make my own plate no big deal so yeah just an update video for you guys nothing nothing major that i'm not doing the work it's too hot it's too hot outside to be doing any kind of work right now i'm in the messy garage right now um like i said i'm about to go to the bank and then i do some stuff um it's pretty messy in here right now got those are my tires from my um my 04 Suburban. I'm going to keep keep the wheels. Um, tires are pretty much trash. Um, I got a coupon for my job to get new tires from Les Schwab's. I'm going to use that when I move. Uh, got me a lawnmower now. Yeah, it's electric, not gas. Got that. A uh, new pressure washer. Of the one I had, I had the 1600 PSI. And I got the 2200 one. Um, this is my tunnel cover off my crew cab that I'm still selling. Um, 120 bucks or whatever. Come pick it up. Got all the mounting hardware for it. Uh, right over here, actually. All the stuff for it. And also got me a shop vac, too. I got this. Uh, I picked this up uh, Tuesday from uh, Home Depot. Or was it Wednesday? I may have picked it Wednesday, actually. I don't know. Can't remember. But yeah. So. Um, gonna contact Nelson Performance um, probably Monday when they open on Monday. Yeah, probably do it Monday, and uh, have them send me a harness for the 04 Suburban. And um, um, I got a guy um, that knows a tuner up in Sacramento. I'm gonna have him um, uh, cut the fans on for the ECM and the uh, 04. And then um, there's a guy. Uh, I haven't talked to him yet. I, I, I met him through somebody else, kind of like mm, here and there. Um, he does LS swaps in Sacramento. Uh, I'm going to contact him Monday also to have him um, see if he can um, uh, wire up my 411 that I'm uh, picking up also um, from the junkyard. I got a couple of prices on a few of them. I'm looking at right now. One's out of a 06 Sierra. I think, yeah, 06 Sierra, four wheel drive. Had a. Um, had a 6.0 in it, surprisingly. Regular uh, extended cab, 1500, uh, four wheel drive, 6.0, which is weird. Um, I, I guess the guy that had the truck, it was a 4.8 originally because the VIN never matched up with a 4.8. And um, a 6.0 in it. And he wrecked it. And somebody already snatched a 6.0 out of it. So, yeah. But um, got a 4 from that. Um, <sighs> got a 4 from the same guy I bought. Um, these fans from he has a 06 Silverado that he's uh, trashing it, it's so much title and the motor's already gone trans is gone rear end's gone um only thing left I think like the back seats in the cab just got the fans off of it 
he has an ECM for 100 bucks. Um, so just seeing, just te just test it out. Um, these fans, those fans work. These work. No clicking in them. I got these. Yeah, from the 05 or one of came from 05 or whatever Yukon. I think it was these. Um, this guy did a Duramax swap on his uh, Yukon. So it's got a four-wheel drive Duramax powered Yukon with an Allison transmission. The electric fans couldn't keep up with the cooling that he needed to do. So I got those for like 50 bucks. Uh, picked up these for a hundred. Um, the guy had the harness with everything he did and I was gonna get it. And then I started looking more at the harness and it was so fucking hacked up that I would spend probably hours going through it. So I just said, fuck it, I'll just order one from from Nelson. Um, but this one, um, since, one, since this one's going in the, the crew cab, or this one is, whichever one I, I put in the crew cab, whatever one, uh, I'm going to order pigtails, like regular GM pigtails, um, like these, um, for um, the Silverado, and then I'm going to wire them up to a standalone harness with the uh, thermal switch um, in them. Um, unless I can get the guy to do a, uh, a 411 swap for me, then I'll just wire him to the ECM. Um, but I don't know. Kind of don't really want to. Oh, I just farted. <laughs> kind of really don't want to do that, do it that way, but if I have to, then I will. If not, then, you know, well, um, cut the fan on in the garage. It's kind of hot in here. So, uh, I might have, uh, wired, get the pigtails for these from Nelson and I'm gonna just wire them up to, to uh, some relays, you know, because they're the two-speed fans, and I, I want them to actually operate how um, they do with the O5s and up. Uh, you still can, you still can without using the 411. I just found that out a couple of days ago. You can still wire up the MBS fans um, like they did in the 05 and up um, GM full-size trucks and SUVs without having a 411. You still can. It's just some relays involved. That's all it is is relays. The only thing that the fucking 411 does for the fans is um, with the two pins that's in there, pin, I think I think it's 34 and 42, I think, don't quote me on that. Basically, one pin's already activated for the fans, it's low speed. The second pin kicks in, um, provides a second ground for the fans to cut on high speed. So I'm gonna wire, wire them up um, for that. Trim around the bezel. Uh, so they can fit in there and they have a little shroud that kind of holds them in place. Um, the only thing this one needs is you know, one, one needs a harness. Um, one of these need a, um, the little radiator thing to hold the radiator hose up top. That's about it. So, um, like I said, I'll contact Nellis Performance Monday and order the harness for one of the fans. I'm sure, when I order them for it, it doesn't matter. Both the same thing. And then I'm um, going to order some pigtails for either one of them, doesn't matter. And wire them up and run them. Uh, I probably I probably put those in the suburban because it has the, um, the ears on the side that hold on the radiator. These I'll just build me a bracket or have a bracket made for them. Uh, I know a fabricator that can fabricate that for me, or I'll just contact Flexalite and use their thing. It's like eighty five bucks, but I don't know about that still. So but my main thing first is to get these on the uh, suburban. Those. Cause it's like wire fire, it's 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 wire fire and in tune. That's all it is. These is like I build a harness for them and make it look professional. Uh, clip it to the AC. Um, one of the guys in the forum center, I should probably use the uh, Flexalite uh, BSC. Uh, I got a buddy of mine's up here. He's got a '99 Tahoe Limited or maybe 2000 actually, and he did the Flexalite fans and. He had battery issues after even buying a bigger alternator. He had battery issues with it constantly. He pulled the VSC off and just used straight relays with everything. And had the power ran a little bit different and no issues with them. Worked out fine. So yeah, that's my video for today, you guys. Um, like I said, I'm not doing no work today. It's too freaking hot outside. It's like 104 up here in Sacramento right now. And I just got back from picking up the fans from the, from, uh, the guy. And just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, like I said, I tested both fans, both of them worked, no problem, cool. So I'm gonna get these 10 CF, these 10,000 CFM, CFM vans in the trucks pretty soon. I don't know when, but like I said, it's gonna be freaking hot and I don't like doing anything. So 
catch you guys later. Like I said, just a quick video for you guys. And um, when I do the fans, I will, you know, get as many photos and videos as I can. And um, I'll catch up with you guys later. All right. Peace out. Be easy.